Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. <laughs> Down, down. 
Mark Brill, yo. And I'd be sorely remiss not to point out Joe Lassie on the drum, Joe.
so much, y'all. On trumpet, my mother's favorite trumpet player, Mark Bro. Thank you. The Preservation Hall Jazz Band. celebrated our 50th anniversary and we actually celebrated here at Carnegie Hall and um, we're back again this year it's a different celebration for us it's a n not just a celebration of our of our incredible history but it's a, a celebration of our future uh, this is the first time in 50 years that we've uh, made a recording entirely of our own compositions and actually most of them we played for you today and it looked like you liked them so <laughs> they like them <laughs> That last song, uh, that was Rondell Johnson from New Orleans, Louisiana, from a great musical family. His uh, great uncle, great uncle, uh, uh, Kid Joseph, was a bass player at Preservation Hall. Uh, this is Freddie Lonzo. He played uh, with my father many years ago in the Olympia Brass Band. Joe comes from one of the great musical families in our city, the Lassie family. Just about everybody in his family is one of our city's great musicians. Uh, Mark and I have known each other since high school. We went to the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts in New Orleans together, and his, both of his uncles, Wendell Brunius and the late, great John Brunius, have both been leaders of the Preservation Hall Band. And now uh, it's a fourth generation? Fourth generation uh, New Orleans musician. Mark Bros up there in that chair. And uh, sitting next to him, the scoundrel. <laughs> 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 he keeps telling us that this is his 81st birthday. We don't believe him because none of us have actually ever seen his uh, his birth date. And but but we'll believe you, Charlie. You know, because <laughs> last year we celebrated his 80th birthday here. That's right. Last year we celebrated his 80th birthday in New York, and we're back this year. Today's actually Charlie's 81st birthday. 18 years old, man. 18. <laughs> 18. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Charlie comes from one of, again, one of our great musical families in New Orleans. He's also a, a fourth generation New Orleans musician, and his, he has three generations of musicians that are s continuing to play in New Orleans. Um, down there at the end, on the piano, known this gentleman for many, many years. He, he's been a member of the Preservation Hall on and off since the 1982. And uh, he knew my father real well back in the, back in the day. And that's uh, the professor, one of the most talented musicians I know. That's Ricky Monet on the piano. <laughs> and then all the way down there on the end, the, uh, the saxophone and vocals. This is uh, one of our dear friends. That's Mr. Clint Majin down there. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we, uh, we became friends. I don't know if y'all are familiar with this gentleman, Jim James, and this band, My Morning Jacket. Uh, if you're not, they're incredible, and they've, they've, uh, they've become part of our life. They're from Louisville, 
Kentucky, and we met them down in New Orleans. Jim came and did a recording with us for a benefit project at Post Katrina. And out of that first recording, I mean, the moment we met, we immediately struck up a friendship, and he invited us to go out on tour with my morning jacket. So a New Orleans jazz band touring with a rock and roll band, and uh, it was amazing. It was awesome. Uh, it was a great experience for us, and it opened up a whole new world to our music. And it has led us to here today, uh, to me and Jim producing our, our newest project, That's It, which uh, I think they have some copies back there for y'all, too. And uh, yeah, it's unbelievable that after uh, 50 years of playing repertoire from the greats, you know, from Jelly Roll Morton, from Louis Armstrong, from uh, King Oliver, and I mean, all, all the greats that uh, we're, we're now having an opportunity to um, create a new book of standards. And uh, that's something that we're real proud of. We're, we all cherish our, 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 our history and our traditions. And for those of you that have been to New Orleans, you know how important that is to us. It's almost, you know, without music, there wouldn't be a New Orleans, really, you know? And, uh, and it's because of these gentlemen's family that we're all up here on stage today. So if you don't mind, with that being said, Charlie, if you, would you mind if we all sang you a happy birthday song right now, man? <laughs> supposed to be a Q&A, so <laughs> I've, just, I've been given a lot of answers, no questions. Public forum, should we open it for? Yeah, do you guys have any questions for them? Or do you just want to say how awesome we are? <laughs> <laughs> I think they probably want more music is actually what they would. I mean, you guys, you don't have to go back to work, right? That's, <laughs> this is, <laughs> well, you're at work. What am I saying? This is work.